All right. Uh, once again, Gambia, uh, good to be back here at Gambia Sport News. As you all used to know that we uh, normally talk about football. Uh, and today we have a very important guest, a Gambian player um, by the name Murufal. Um, recently, have been just making the headlines in the Gambia here. Uh, he's our guest today. And also we have um, Mavan, um, also a very important person when it comes to football in England. We also have Kusuman Mani. Um, I have learned that, you know, we have been also um, working with the BBC when it comes to this type of football. Uh, I have my colleague here, Habib Fal. Uh, Habib Fal, you know, uh, we into this for a, quite a long time now. Uh, I and Habib Fal will conduct this interview uh, with Mo and also with um, Usman Mane and also with Van. Komunion wasi kalama all of rek tei besbu besbu am itela si walmi di football in Gambia. Tei am nanki di amuru fal di domi Gambian. Tei nang nang watana mum di nang nang indil kanya amuru fal gina Gambia dem focus bit England. Am nang tami kiri Usman Mane kunga hamne defna guest tu ne ligi al nasahni di BBC si walmi ama dem si ni nri in Africa di guest tu li di football. I'm not kidding. I'm kidding. Van, I'm going to have to move there. But Maxi Walu is the football focus of the league in England. Yeah, because now, we should not be able to play in the Premier League in Gambia when it comes to football. I'm not kidding. Happy fall, my partner. Since I'm not going to be able to play in the football. Quickly, right now, by happy. Mu introduce. Tanya nak dengan kau jahat mahal, because mu fall dia buat lidi kalaf. Lumbi anak dega regmoy English. So obviously, on official demo you can speak kalaf. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah. Today, today it's it, it, it's it's a wonderful um it's a wonderful day to be to be to be around. Uh, yeah. Basically, we normally we normally we normally we normally concentrate on Gambian players who are not in UK or England. Most of our yeah. players are mostly in Italy, you know, and other part of the world. But it's really important to 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 be having players in the UK coming to our platform and talking to us and the Gambian people. About their journey and how everything started. So having Motofal here, yeah. whom we have been following on social media and seeing his Absolutely. his progress, I think he is on the right track. Uh, you know, a, a friend of mine always told me that I've never seen a star player by the surname Fal, and <laughs> I am Fal. So seeing yeah. Modu, seeing Motofal doing his thing, I'm I'm yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm already boozing. You know, I'm, I'm I'm loving it, and I think he's on track. And I think, um, yeah. <laughs> yes, and, and 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 guess what? My my dad's name is Mood as well, so it's good to have him here. Yeah, and and to the other brothers here also, I think we expect to have a very good show, and I think they have much to say. Uh, mm -hmm. On today's program, we allow the guests to explain themselves in details because Absolutely. Absolutely. on this plat on, on our platform, the people are already familiar with us; they know what we do. So we now we have three people on this platform who are who are doing their thing in the in a, in, a, in, a, in a different way. So we expect them to explain them themselves. We will ask the questions, and then so that Gambians around the world will understand that we have people around the globe who are football oriented, football enthusiasts, and football players as well. So I'm really happy to be part of the the program, and we expect to have a good show today. Thank you very much, Mr. Fall. Uh, now uh, we just have to, uh, you know, hand over the uh, mic to Usman Mane. Uh, Usman, yes. uh, good to have you here uh, at Gambia Sport News. Uh, we are very happy to have you uh, in this platform. Uh, we will be discussing about much on football, uh, especially, you know, uh, the Gambian people, Gambian uh, players that are playing in England. And also, we want to know more about uh, Muru Fall, uh, who is now playing with um, West Brom uh, in the English um, Champions um, uh, Just recently, he has been making names uh, in the headlines uh, back home here in the Gambia. <coughs> thank you very much. Um, thank you very much for having me. Um, it's a pleasure to be here. Um, in terms of um, footballers in the UK, um, especially from the Gambian background, there's loads. There's loads and loads and loads of players that are doing really, really well, um, especially recently. We've started seeing an uprising in number of players that are being um, put into professional academies and professional football football environment to try and develop themselves and try and build a career from the game. Um, Previously, I was um, I was coaching a team in the um, in the Birmingham Regional League, which is a very very good league. It's a semi pro league in England, and the whole team is predominantly Gambian players. It's just Gambian players. From that from that team, we had a we had a player who was so good. Um, he got scouted, went to Jamie Academy's um, Jamie Vardy's academy in Leicester, 
um, and then other players went on to play for um, play for Kidderminster and really really good team. So in terms of players and in, th in terms of football um, in the UK, it's very very advanced. Everybody knows that the Premier League is the number one league in the world. Um, so th and there's a lot of teams in in the UK. that are, are creating platforms for people to come through. It's all about Gambia and just showcasing our talents and just put and just putting ourselves in the wrong example. Um Mofal coming through the ranks from where he started. I'm gonna let him I'm gonna let him do an introduction on himself and tell you himself yeah. about his career. But I think <clears throat> he is an epiphany for everybody. He is an example of of of, of a successful um young hungry Gambian footballer coming through the grassroots to where he is today. Thank Great. you very much, Mr. Bro. Great. Great. Uh, Van, thank you very much. Van, um, briefly, can you just, you know, enlighten more about yourself and the role you play in, uh, the role you play in, in, in England, and also, you know, the support that you have been given to Mofal? Yeah, um, thank you very much for having me as well. Um, my name is Babuka Ture, but I'm commonly known as Van. Um, yeah, so we recently, um, we've been we've been supporting Mo for a long time now, but we recently thought that we, um, me and Osman came together to um, start up um, a sporting agency wherein we manage the affairs of um, athletes and, you know, um, play football players. Um, so we, uh, Mo, Mo, Mo is under us. Um, we're working with Mo because um, we, we, we've seen lots of Gambian professionals that have been misrepresented not having the right um, advice in terms of their career path and everything. So um, being from a Gambian descendant, we thought that it's, it's, it's good that we come up with, with, with um, a sporting agency wherein we help Gambians to thrive in, 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 in their um, respective careers. So that's where we come in um, as, 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 as a company. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll leave it to that at the, um, at the minute. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Fall, um, quickly, uh, I have to work on some uh, videos that I want to, you know, show uh, the general uh, viewers uh, about who is Mo Fall. Uh, you can just have Mo Fall, a quick interview uh, with him uh, whilst I work on these uh, small videos. And also, uh, Van and Usman also will help us, you know, uh, to come back also in our local language so that uh, the back home here, people that cannot speak English, can definitely you know uh, learn from what the people are saying because it's very important uh at gabby's point we have a large you know uh, viewers that you know they always call us say uh, for the benefit of us who cannot speak english um Mo, i will leave you with happy file while i work on some of your videos okay that's fine yeah basically it's 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 a pleasure to have to have Mo here and we would like to know exactly how, how it started and how was your journey like? Just a brief explanation about yourself. We know it's not always easy to to to, to come uh, along the lines in the UK compared to other countries. So how was it? How 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 everything started and the reason why you are here today? I understand that you work with some very very good Gambians, but talent-wise, you must be very talented to 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 climb to climb the ladder. So just briefly, you can tell us who is Modu and where it started and how far how far how far you have gone to 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 reach this level to to, to be playing in the championship which is a good good achievement so far but i will just allow you to explain yourself so that viewers will will, will know exactly who, who who is more and where it all started yeah that's fine so I, was, I left gambia when i was seven years old and uh seven. and i went to the uk and uh you know i, I started playing football um seriously maybe when i was 12 13 years old i was only playing for the local team next near my house where i lived at that point and then after that it was you know i started to play saturday league football which is which is not yet uh, academy or professional but it was something to to try to reach that target and after that i joined uh, a local team after that called sea codes and the person that worked there, which I still work with now, has links with West Brom and, you know, just tried to, tried to get me in on uh, as a scout. So I went there on trial. I think I was 16, 17. And after a successful trial, they offered me a scholarship, a two-year scholarship at uh, West Brom. And then, you know, after that, I kept, I kept working hard and I kept uh, learning and I kept improving. 
uh, it was until then that they offered me my first professional contract, uh, which is a two year contract. And, uh, you know, we're now coming up to the two years and that's we're here now. So that was that's just briefly how it goes from re leaving the Gambia and coming to play and signing my professional contract until now the Championship League debut. Um, but when did you when, when when did you start to have the belief that look this thing is this thing is happening you know because like you said people normally play for person or whatsoever but there 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 come a time in your in your in your in your in your career where you say, look I think I can I can I can I can become a professional like exactly when do you have the belief that you are very close of achieving your dream and that is becoming a professional footballer look you know I I always knew I was capable of you know uh, playing at a high level. But I think it started to get really seriously when um, after I had my trial and West Brom, you know, they offered me something because a lot of people can go on trial and, you know, it doesn't work out no matter. It could be any reason. But, you know, when they said they can, they want to, they trust me and they want to offer me something because they see me here long term. That's when I said, yes, you can get serious now. And, you know, I can make this uh, into a profession. And, uh, you know, after that, I just kept working hard and, you know, handed me with my debut, the championship debut, shortly after. And I said, yeah, that was my first taste of, you know, the limelight, if you want to say, then on, being on TV and playing against the big teams and seeing that it's possible. Then since then, I've just, you know, believed in myself, always had the ability. Yeah, the belief is always, it's, 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 it's always, it's, you have to, you have to get the belief. And if I have to ask you, uh, what has brought you together with our, Gambian brothers like Van and, and, and the other brother. How, 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 working with them, how does it help you going forward as a football player? Well, it helps me a lot because, you know, these guys, you know, although they might not work professionally in the industry of football, they know a lot of football, even more than me, that I know myself. And when you're a young player, you, you can't do it all by yourself. You need people that is the experience in the industry that you know. And, you know, Osman, that's my family. So, you know, as soon as he found out that, I was uh, involved with football. Then he wanted to help me uh, on board and he's been there since the very beginning. So I have to keep working with these guys because, you know, it can it can also help me. You can't do everything by yourself. You need good people around you that you exactly. know, from the same places, exactly. you from the same area that want have good intentions for you. So it's the, I think I found the best two people that can do that to help me alongside my agent. Yeah, because uh, the, the reason why I asked that question, because normally some some guys would like to work with bigger household name in football so we have seen a gambian brother who is working with his own people which is very impressive compared to in the past there are a lot of gambian players who have been working with some gambian 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 against from the beginning but the moment they start to move to the next level you you see some kind of you know disagreement some kind of noise coming from their camp but the fact that i've seen two young gambians who are working with with, 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 with with you, despite the fact they're not up there where they want to be in the future, but at least we have seen you going through a process which is very, very positive. So I think it also shows that uh, there are garments out there who can do the job, despite the fact that, you know, some of them are still, you know, learning, learning, learning the job the right way, but garments can also do it, like, meaning they can also help our players to achieve their dreams by working with them. Yeah, absolutely. You know, these are the people that I trust and and I know them like personally. It's not people that I've met online or anything like that. You know, this yeah. is which is important. Then, then then I have to ask them both of them to, to, to explain how guys, how 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 is it like how how is it like working with Mo? Um <laughs> for me, I think it's it's very, very easy. He makes our job easy because Mo is a very humble young man and he listens. Mm. The most important thing is when you're working with someone trying to help, they listen to your advice and, you know, they, they, they humble themselves. So that, that makes it very, very easy. Um, in my opinion, um, Mo is a cool kid and it's very important as a professional to have a level headed, um, um, approach um, to things because, you know, the environment is really tough and the environment can, you know, go either way. But if you're level headed and you're really humble, then you can reach, you know, your potential. So for me, it's it's easy working with more. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
so um it's a bit different for me um my relationship with mo um it's not it's my relationship with mo is it's not a professional working relationship because um how the whole thing started is when mo um was started when the football started to become serious um i had a phone call from his parents who are my auntie and uncle who um i respected very 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 i respect very very much um so they called me and just told me about Mo's football history and it's starting to become serious we've got clubs like west brom showing interest in Mo, and they sort of entrusted me just to look after him just to make sure that he's okay and he's making the right decisions to try and get himself to where he needs to be um so for me they put that responsibility in my hands and because based on based on my history and my history of football and how I came up and stuff, which I already knew about, they they put that responsibility in my hands. So, t- I'm struggling a bit with with, with 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 the internet. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Mo, hello. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. yeah yes. Come have- on, then, come on. Then. Yeah, sorry, I'm just having some um, some technical difficulties here. Yeah. Um, no yeah. So it's it's different for me. Yeah. So um, his his parents get basically gave me responsibility just to make sure that he's safe and he's being looked after and he's doing what he needs to do. Um, we know how agents are nowadays in terms of players. Every agent is out there hungry, looking for the next next best oh. talent, the next hottest talent coming up. They want to get them signed. They want to get them secure. But they're all in there. For, they're all in it for their own personal gain and their own personal um their own personal interest so for us it was for me it's very very important that more comes through in um, and passes through through the the hands of good agents who has his best interest at heart and uh, who who better to do it than than ourselves what can they do that we can't do fantastic if i if i if i uh, anyway the good thing is uh, i can see that more is definitely working with people who got who are ready to go to the next level he is in safe hand i can say we all got this positive feeling but if we have to ask you guys what is what is what is who is more in terms of talent because uh i was busy checking some of his videos and stuff but for the people following how good can more be now towards next season how how we, we would like to know his potentials because the size is good we know he can play ball but most of you who work closely with Mo have been seeing things that the outside world are not seeing. So we would like to hear from you, both of you, before we come to Mo, is talent. So Mo, how talented is Mo? Mo is what you want your modern day striker to have. He has all the features that you want your modern day striker to have. He has that presence on the um, on the footballing pitch. He's a target mm-hmm. man. His hold yep. up play is really really good. Um, mm-hmm. Technically, he's gifted. The ball on his feet. This kid can do magic, things that you can't even imagine. He's fearless. He doesn't mind. He doesn't care who he's playing against, who he's playing with. Um, and most of all, and most importantly, his goals. If you look at his numbers, his tally, games played against the game, the goals scored is absolutely fantastic. He has everything that you would want a, um, a, a, a striker to have in this day and age. Van? I don't think I can add anything to what um, Usman just said. Um, Mo, Mo is, is the next big thing. I can, I can guarantee you that. Um, in my playing days, I was a striker and I know what a good striker looks like. And Mo has it all. He's tall. His physique is, yeah. is the perfect for the tag, target man. And you know how English football is. Yep. He he's the man. He's the man because he can, as 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 um, Usman mentioned, he he's a target man. He can hold uh, he can hold a play, but he can drop deep as well because he can play football. He's not just you know target man where you just throw the ball to him and then he lay off to other players. But he can actually play football, so he can drop deep, receive the ball, and play a good pass or you know build um, build up the play. So he he's he's the man. So if we, if for example, if I have to ask you like. In terms of similarities with any modern day striker in world football today, who who more is a little bit you can say they are they resemble the way they play. Easy Lewandowski. Lewandowski, and then let, let me let, let me let me go to my guy. <laughs> well, for Mo, what do you think, Mo? No, 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 no. No, Mo, Mo, hold it, hold it, hold it. Let him let him say. He is he is he is watching you closely, so he should know exactly. Your 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 similarities. I know. 
for me, <laughs> for Mo, I would say I would say more along the lines of um, Dimitar Barbatov to Olivier Giroud kind of players. Um, just because of, for me, what I love about his his football is his technical ability. Like his, his yeah, is this the, the way he will? If you look at him, you might think, okay, he's tall, he's skinny, he, maybe he's not strong, maybe he's not quick enough, but he will hold off any defender playing uh, he's playing against, and he's explosive. Once he once he pushes the ball, he's gone. And cool. again, target as well. He's yeah. For me, due to his technical ability, which is what I love most about his football, I'd say. I would, I, that's who I would compare him to. To so, how about how about his pace? How fast is Mo? He is rapid. He's rapid. He's rapid. He's he's rapid for 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 a, a six foot five guy. He's rapid. How about his aerial threats? Most of the, his goals he scored like headers and stuff. If you watch Fantastic. his highlights, he's he's scoring headers and you know, yeah. Is is good aerial 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 um as well. So what 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 are the local media uh think talk about him? What are they saying? In 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 in, 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 in like in respect, what 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 are they foreseeing that this guy can 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 be something in the future? Maybe there is something they are talking about in the media about Mo because he already made his debut for the for the for the for the for the for the first team. So is uh, is there any? News going around from the local media in, in 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 within the team about Mo. Yeah, definitely, definitely. There, um, it's not only just the local media, but um, Mo, Mo or there are other teams that are um already looking into Mo and interested in Mo. Um, so he's 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 doing everything right at the minute, and you know the the media is watching. If a twenty year old having making 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 a debut against Arsenal. You know that's not that's not child's play. That's that's yep. really up there. So you know. They... So 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 from 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 both of you working with him, uh, what are your expectations now towards the end of the season? What do you want? What do you want to see? What do you want to see from Mo now towards the end of the season? For Mo, um, for me, it's simple. Mo knows what the expectations are. Um, mm. And that's that's it's been the same from day one. It's just to get his head down, play his football, um, just work on establishing himself as a footballer and, and getting himself out there. The, the goal is obviously to get more time um, and more minutes with the first team. Um, he's constantly, mm -hmm. currently he's training with the first team um, and he's doing what he needs to do. Um, we had our loan spells. We've been on loan um, to three teams which have been successful. Um, he's now gotten himself to a spot where he's now the second or the third, I think he's the third choice striker now for West Bromwich Albion, which is really, really good. Um, so he, just, he just needs to carry on. He needs to carry on just working on um, things that he needs to do, um, get used to being in that first team environment and just, just carry on doing what he, he needs to do. Obviously, he knows that in his career, we're, we're, we're now at a very crucial point because we're now in, um, we're currently in contract negotiations with West Bromwich Albion, um, which we're currently working on. And also during his time at um, on loan, he's, um, he's, he's attracted a lot of interest from a lot of, um, a lot of other clubs in the English Football League um, and other different leagues that are making inquiries to know what's happening with him, who are monitoring his situation. So he knows that this is a very, very, very crucial um, time in his career. And he just needs to, he needs to carry on doing what he's doing and that's just working hard on and off the pitch. Um, now yeah, I have to go to Mo. Yes? Yeah. Oh, no, okay. You, you can go on with Mo. I just have Mo, uh, Mo, Mo, looking at your strike partners at West Bromwich, uh, mentally, you, you, you know, because as a football player, you must look at them and say, look, I think this guy is not even better than me. So mentally, are you? Do you have the mental, the mental tough, toughness that look? It's just a matter of time, but I should be starting in this team. Well, yeah, you know, um, I've come up to the first team, and in football, when you're, when you're a young boy, and you get, you know, the opportunity and the chance like this to, to go out there, you know, at the end of the day, everyone in football is about, you know, taking shirts and making yourself you want to be the you want to be the number one striker in, in every in everything you do and you want to be the the best you can possibly and you know i'm working with the strikers you know they're helping me because you know they are they are ahead of me and they're more experienced lads yeah. and you know every day i'm just hopefully trying to soak it in and 
just trying to uh, learn as much as I can from them. But yeah, you know, obviously, I, you know, we train with these guys. And sometimes you feel like, yeah, you can be a part of this because it's not 100 miles away. It's not impossible that you can play with these guys and, and play in that level. So, you know, I'm just trying my best at the minute. And hopefully one day I can I can be a, a first team striker, number one striker well, starting all the time. Yeah, exactly. And I, and I think you, you know exactly what you have to do. You know exactly what you have to do. Yeah. It's, I think it's all about... Because if somebody is already talented, if you are talented, the next thing you need to do is just to work hard. Because now in modern day football, I've seen hard working players putting talented players on the bench. You know, it's all about working hard. And the most the most difficult part in football is to be talented. And both of your brothers said you are super good. You are a prospect. This guy is the limit. So I think it's all about putting your working hard and because you are really close. You are really close because a lot of players are out there. They could, they couldn't, they couldn't make the cut. So luckily, you work hard, and then you are here where you are, deservedly, and you are really close. Most of us are very, very happy. Most gamers are really happy, and we all got the feeling that you know we we might see you in the Premiership, like Modubara was there or Oye Kuruma in the past. So if I if I I, I ask them some kind of a question about. Who is your who is your who is your who is your role model as a striker? Who who do you want to emulate like who, to play like? A, is it Didier Drogba? Is it Samuel Eto or Lewandowski or Harry Kane? Who are you looking upon? Like watching videos of him. I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of strikers. You know, even sometimes I like to look at strikers that are built like me, like you know, with my physical profile, the way I like yeah. to play. And sometimes I also look at other strikers that are just. Not, even not my physical profile, but good at something like, you know, what finishing or taking care of the ball or linking up and playing. So if, if I would like to uh, compare myself to anyone, you know, like the guy said, uh, they said Lewandowski and they said Giroud, even Tammy Abraham, you know, that are more yeah. likely that can play the, do the football and take hold of the ball. And African players, Didier Drogba, because when it comes to hold of play, then there was no African like him holding up the ball, yeah. you know what I mean? as a striker uh, he was the first striker to uh to to play as a one striker you know going against four defenders at the back as a single striker and he caused a lot of problems so that's how that's who would be difficult i would like to say great if somebody from the outside who will just look at you i said yeah mo is a target man he's tall but i think he need to add more pounds will you agree on that more what did you say like to add to to to, to add to like, let's say to hit the gym and be more to add your physique, like physically more more built. Mm. Will you agree on that? I would agree to a certain extent because, you know, if I want to start, play, I'm playing first team football now against people that have been playing for a long time that are very strong as well. That's my targets uh, in the off season to get more pounds, to be stronger. You know, I can already hold the ball up, but it would make it 100% of the time just the ball comes to me. I want to be the reliable striker. I don't want to be the striker that sometimes he can hold the ball up, sometimes he cannot. So if I if I can add more pounds and I can be more strong, which are my targets also, then I can hold the ball up anyone anytime. But what 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 are your coaches thinking about what what I've just said? Are, are, are your coaches also thinking the same that yeah you need yeah. to add you need to add more pounds? Yeah, they are, that's also the what, what they're thinking as well to, uh, to to add that to my game. You know, you can all you can only improve. There's no there's no time that you can never improve and stop in football. And that's one of the targets for me and the coach that I've set, set for me as well, to hit the gym, to to be more stronger upper body and my core. So, you know, these are the important things that you need to be able to hold the ball up. And I could I also agree 100% with them. That's my target and that's their target. Yes. Yeah, I think I think, I think I, I, that, 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 that's something positive. But I've seen players, for example, this boy from Real Madrid, this Kamavinga boy, he came to Real Madrid as a skinny boy and now I've seen him, he looks a little bit better in physique. I've seen... Goreska of Bayern, he was there, skinny, but now he adds some muscles. I think that's something very positive going forward. So it means you have, you this this coming summer, you have a lot of work to do in terms of yeah. getting ready, you know, because now, like I said, you are just a step or two. You know, we expect you to bust. We expect you to, 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 to take the championship by storm, you know, score some couple of goals. And because you are a striker, goals will define your game. You know, if you score more goals, Maybe and 
we might just hear a Gambian player costing 70, 80 million pounds and then we'll ultimately. So I think I think I think I think I think, I think most of us are wishing you to to, to, to succeed. Maybe you are away yeah. and then we had some very nice one one two mm -hmm. with the brothers. I asked yeah, them I some sorry. very very good questions, so you can continue from there. Yeah, I think I have uh, a very important question for Mo Fall. Uh, Mo, you made your first debut in the championship against uh, Sunderland. Um, you you were introduced in the 90 minutes, but surprisingly, Mo, uh, you make one shot on target, a very important target, and also uh, you managed to have an accurate passes of 2.67%, uh, which is a very good average in the space of one minute. Yeah. What was yeah, your uh, expectation? How do you feel about that game? The first time your coach called you, Mo, come on, you're going to play in the dance minute. Yeah, the, the coach seen me on the bench and he said, get get ready to come on. And, you know, I didn't believe it because I think, I thought he was talking to someone else. So I looked behind me and I said, he's talking to me. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> but when I came on, I said, yeah, now now everything everything is, is, is depending on this on this game. So you have to you have to do well and you have to show that you know you're not you i'm i'm not a kid anymore and i can deal with this with this pressure so when i came on um i had a few passes on the ball and you know receive it you have to stay calm to pass the ball and they were successful and i think with the opportunity that i had was late in the game uh it was to tie the game to make it 2-2 two -two. the ball came but you know when the ball came i was thinking you know maybe i should take it in one touch or maybe i should take it in two touch so you know i wasn't very my mind was switched on very 100 percent. you know i think it was my first touch of of, uh, of the game and uh yeah i got the shot on target but the connection and the contact wasn't very good so you know I, it didn't trouble the keeper as much as i would want it to so the next day in training i, I did that show like you know a hundred times and next time when that ball comes i'll be ready for it good uh, 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 uh usman um how do you feel um seeing mo having his first debut i guess a very good team uh, Sunderland, um, they were playing in the English Premier League. I was very, 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 very proud. Um, but also, it was a, it was um, it was a long time coming. Um, it was a long time coming because um, previous to that game, he was on the bench for the first team for about two games. Um, I think the guys already mentioned he's already had his opportunity to play with the first team on a big stage, which was against Arsenal last season when the previous coach for um, for West Brom gave him the opportunity. So, to be honest, um, I was with Van at that game. We went to watch that game and we were sitting in the stand and we were saying, he needs to bring more on, he needs to bring more on, he needs to bring more on. And we felt like if he had more time on the, on the pitch um, than he did, he would have perhaps made a difference because we know him and we know what he's capable of doing. And things with Mo... In, in occasions like that and in venues like that, he thrives. That's where that's where he is at his best. Um, and with his ability, we had no doubt. So when he finally, when we finally saw him getting chained and starting to come on, we were very happy. And it's, like, mm. you know what I mean? It, it wasn't it wasn't because West Brom were losing. They were they had a really good game against Sunderland, but they were losing and they had an opportunity to to do well in that game, go to the playoffs and have a chance of getting promoted. But unfortunately, it didn't work out that way. But for us, um, for him to have his chance to come on and make his debut, um, it was it was definitely a proud moment for us, and um, we're ho something that we're hoping to see more of going forward. Good one. Perfect. On that yeah, same. Day. Say it again. Sorry. I said on that fateful day, your player make it to the championship, one of the most competitive yeah. league in England. Yeah, it was it was it was um, um, a sweet moment seeing you know more. Making his debut, as as um, Usman mentioned, we were sitting on the bench, and from you know when West Brom went down, we were like, I think this is the perfect game for Mo. He should come on. And at some point, we thought he wasn't gonna come on. And then when the 90 minutes board came up, the coach called him. Um, he was warming up just where we were sitting, and then I was like, to Usman, he's coming on. He's definitely coming on now. So I was so excited. So he mm. came on, and you know that was that was really really um sweet for us to see um our our gambian brother making his you know full league debut um um for 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 west brom and hopefully you know in the coming um weeks he will have more game time and then he will build up from that and the next season we'll see what is what more is um build up good uh Mo, i have two important questions here um uh one let's uh, first 
um, would you play for Gambia if you've been called for to play for the Gambia national team? Uh, the other one is you have been on loan for many times. Um, how did that help you? Yeah, so for the, first, for the first question about would I play for Gambia, I 100% would play for Gambia, you know. That's where I'm from. That's where I represent, you know, every, even when I won the Premier League Cup final, it was a Gambian flag on my back, you know what I mean? So, yeah. absolutely, this is where I'm from. That's my roots. That's where I was born. I was there for seven years. Absolutely, I'm a Gambian. I would want to play for them. And uh, I went out on the, my first loan. I went to Hereford, which is in the National League in the North. And, you know, that went that went okay. I was there with uh, a, a, a few other Gambian brothers that I know. And it was very good for me because, you know, when you have people, your people in, in, in the same team, it can be good and they can uh, tell you, you know, experience from stuff like that. And then I went to Telford, which was a team that was struggling in that league. I went there for a month, you know, um, I think that game was okay, but it's the fact that they, were, they weren't playing me as a striker that I normally played. That they were playing me on the left wing. And uh, I found it a bit difficult because, you know, when you when you go to a team like that, they're already struggling and uh, uh, all the people think they're already going to get relegated and their heads are, are dropped. It's hard to uh, become the impact player. But then I went to a, a, a team in, in a higher position, which is AFC Fowl, which I... Uh, they're going to win the the promotion after they win the next game. You know, I was there. I, I think I scored ten goals in like fifteen games. So it was wow. it was a very good loan 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 for awesome. me. And the team, you know, the team was. I think that was my best loan so far because everyone was so so kind and so welcoming. And you know, when I'm happy and I'm confident playing, then that's when I play my best football. And the manager that was at Kafaud was the manager that gave me my you know my champion my debut against Arsenal. So I already know, I've already worked with him before. I already know him and I already trust him. And he trusted me. He said, you know, just every time you go out there, enjoy yourself. And we know, we know you can bring to the team. That's why you're here. And every time I went out and played, I delivered. So I really enjoyed it. How do you feel playing against Arsenal? Yeah, it was, it was, it was crazy <laughs> playing against the <laughs> team. Yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, uh, but that's it was a very good experience for me because that, that that game they had a very good squad. They had the likes of Obama Young, the likes of Nicolas Pepe, Bukayo Saka, all these players that that everybody knows. And it was it was crazy just being on the pitch with them because now we can see, for myself, my eyes, I can see what the levels and what I require to be at the top of the football. And you know, I just have to keep working hard for me to be in their position one day. Inshallah. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Van. Yeah, uh, let's talk about this. Um, more coming to play for Gambia. Okay. Um, yeah, definitely. As as he, you hear, you heard from the horse's mouth. More, more is Gambian. More wants to play for Gambia. As he mentioned, when he won the the, the youth league cup for West Brom, um, he had the Gambian flag. You know, I was so proud that day when I saw that. So, um, him him he's 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 ready. He's just waiting for that call. To, to come and represent his nation and he's, he's ready anytime. Mm. Uh, uh, Osman, more, yeah. coming to, more coming to play for Gambia. Uh, Everybody is anticipating to, that to happen. Well, to be honest with you, we're, we're surprised that we haven't had anything from the, um, from the national team in Gambia. Um, because if it was any other country, um, mm. let's say, for instance, if Mo was Nigerian, Ghanaian, any other country... More yeah. doing what he's doing now, playing at the level that he's playing. We we know for a fact that the phone call would have been made from the national team to 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 the player or to his to the player's representative to try and see what they can arrange in terms of bringing the player on board. Um, we still we, we're still here. We're still waiting. Um, More has a dual nat um, citizenship. He is 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 a Gambian and he's also a British. Um, Playing for Gambia would be a dream come true for Mo and for myself, if I'm honest with you. Um, we're just waiting for that phone call to come. We've, we've tried to make a few inquiries ourselves um, to try and get in touch with the right people. However, he hasn't been successful yet. But we are open. We're waiting. And some people think that Mo should be invited in the Honor 20 before I before Habib Fall uh, come in. Well, if you look at if you look at numbers, uh, which is which is what is all about in sports. You look at Mo's numbers. You look at the levels that the guys are playing in, it's, uh, to me, is a no-brainer. 
100%. Absolutely. 100%. Uh, in, fact, in fact, that's exactly where I, where, 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 where I was trying to, trying to come in. Um, we have seen the under-20 play in Egypt. Uh, they did well. Fantastic. We are in the final. We lose to, we lose to Senegal. No shame. They were the better team. But I think uh, we had a good, we have a very, very, very good opportunity to, 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 to reinforce our team, especially in the, in the, in the, in the, in the attacking tag, because we, we all have seen what was happening in the, in the Afcon. Uh, we only have a player, one player who was banging the ghost. That's Adam Bojan. Mm. And I think, uh, seeing more and the, the, the level he's playing and the, 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 because he's played in a very good level and he's working with top class coaches that gives him an edge. So you might be even more talented, but the, the, his current form of playing football and the environment, the environment is more conducive. But he's playing in a top league, working with very good um, and coaches. Uh, most of the fans are thinking or wanted to see Mo at least to be, to be, to be with the team to um Argentina because the World Cup is going to Argentina. So I think we 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 we're gonna play against the best team. For, for example, we are going to play against France, right? Mm -hmm. We are going to play against France. And we all know France when it comes to under 20 level, you will see top, 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 top players will be in that lineup across the across the world. So it's gonna be tough for, for the under 20. So I think our people should 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 should, should double check. And but put, the thing uh, is, put, yeah, put, yeah, put, yeah, Mr. Paul, just imagine someone, to, uh, someone just mentioned in the comment box said that imagine Mo Fall and Adam Abojan appearing. Up. I've seen it, I've seen it, I've seen <laughs> it. And, 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 and the, the reason why I was asking you those questions, how good is Mo, is for fans watching the show to understand what it takes. So he is good with the ball, he's scoring most of his goals with, with his head, he can shoot. And he's explosive. That's a whole package there. That's a whole package. Yeah. We are not supporting Mo because he's our brother. No, we are talking about Gambia. And when we're talking about Gambia, we put the Gambia's interest first. Absolutely. We have guys nothing like propaganda. Nobody is making a propaganda for Mo. No. I ask very legit questions to know exactly who is Mo, who is Mo Fab. And there is no better person to ask than both of you. You yeah. so have seen him play from younger at a very, very tender age until now. So you guys are the right person to ask. And looking at his yeah. numbers, football, football is all about the stats. His stats are amazing. He's banging goals left, right, center, and he's scoring and he's played at football. So I think it would have been a very good inclusion in the, in the, in the, in the under twenty. Uh, and it um, will also pave, it will also pave the way sorry, for other sorry, young Gambians. Come on. Yeah. Also Coming. Oh, he's gone again. Yeah. Uh, 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 Mr. Yeah, Paul, yeah, sorry. Yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, Mo, oh, Mo, Mo, are you ready for? Are you ready? Are you ready uh, for this championship for this FIFA Under Twenty World Cup? Ben called up. Are you? Are you hundred percent ready right now? I'm ready. I've I've been ready for a long time for just to, for someone to reach out to me and to say something like, you know, we're interested in you. I've been ready for a long time. And even, I'm even the most ready now. My, my confidence is at the highest. You know, I'm, I'm the best uh, I can play, like of my version at the minute. I can always get better, but right now, as day goes on, you can only, you can only focus on the present. I'm the best yep. I can be right now. And I'm, I'm as hard working and ready as possible. Always been. Good. Os, 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 come. You, you are, you are, you are, you are trying to come up with something. I think he's struggling with his internet. Yeah. I don't know yeah. what's happening. Yeah, what I was saying is uh, we are talking about Mo. There is nothing like propaganda here. We want the best players to play for our national team. This, this has been my, my way. It doesn't matter if I know you or not. We, I felt that uh, the best players should be playing for the national team. And going to a World Cup is different from the AFCON. The AFCON wasn't very competitive because if you, if you look at our group stages, we, 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 we are winning teams for fun. But the moment we reach uh, at the final against Senegal, we lost to Senegal twice in a year. We lost them at the Wafu in Mauritania. We lost to Senegal again uh, in the in the Afcon in Egypt, simply because Senegal are putting addition in their team. They have players playing for Dynamo Kev, 
some are in Belgium, they have some professionals in their youth setup. So it gives them an egg. The, the captain is, is, is experienced, you know, and you can see three of their players from the under 20 are currently playing in France. One Damn of it. them is already, is already starting matches. He's from, he's from the under 20. He's now playing regular football with, 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 with Mets and not on the bench. Yes, he is starting matches. So the, 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 the reason why we lost to Senegal is they always try to include three, four players who are very, very, uh, who are very competitive and very experienced. And that was one of the reasons we lost to it. So if we have players like Mo out there playing, 90%, 98% or 99% of Gambians are working in diplomacy for a reason. Yeah. We are paid to the league. We are working diplomacy and the championship for a reason. Mm -hmm. So if you have a player playing there, I think uh, we, we have to have this attitude of catch them young. You know, we can just get them, yeah. put them in the team and try to get the best results. Because if Gambia wins, it's for everybody. It's, it's not about Mo or, or, or it's not about anybody. We want the best players to play. And there's a player here. I've seen so many Gambians with dual, dual nationalities who don't want to come. Mm -hmm. They don't want to come. And they aren't as good as Mo. They didn't even read the level Mo is playing. But they don't want yeah. to come. They will say, oh, I want to wait for Sweden. I want to wait for Norway. They are still watching work it hard. So if a guy like Mo playing the level he is playing in the championship, one of Senegal's best players is playing in the championship. It's my last half. Mm. It just shows you how good that league is. And it's very competitive. So I'm really happy that Mo himself mm. is not making it difficult. Instead, he is offering himself to play for his country of Bab, which is a plus and we, we, we don't have much to say but to, 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 to thank him for that. Because most, of, most players, the moment they start to play at the higher level, they start to brag. No, you have to wait, and they have to put some some conditions. I've seen in the women, 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 women national team. Some Gambians born in Spain. They don't want to come. They are asking for some kind of things before they will come. They are asking for some bonuses, some 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 stuffs, you know. But unlike Mo, he wanted to come and give back to his country. We did something. We have to. Uh, we have to be thankful of him, definitely. Thank you. Of course, Mr. Paul. Just to just to touch up on what you just said, um, yeah. I think I think Gambia we 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 we're guilty of this when 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 it happens because there's a lot of players like you said a lot of really really good footballers. What we want to do is we want to wait until players the whole world is shouting the players' names and then we want to invite them. When the players are going through the the the, the hard work and the graft, they're starting to show potential and get into where they need to be. We we just turn a blind eye like we don't know. Um, players like Mo at the stage that he's at now. Now would be the best time to get him in that environment with a national team, nurture him yeah. and develop him gradually until he gets to where you want him to be. Because the players that are playing for the national team, in two years, three years, these players are not going to be playing for the national team. Absolutely. Do you know Absolutely. what I mean? So if, yeah. you, if you want longevity, you need to look at who you have coming up, partner them up with the experienced players and that's how they learn and that's how they come through the ranks. So when the time comes where the experienced player has to step aside, this one is already a finished product. Do you understand? So, this is, what, this is what we're going to do. Mo, currently, it's like you said, we've got players, one of, it's one of Senegal's best uh, best players, Ismail Asar, is playing in the championship with Watford. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Mo is playing mm -hmm. in that same league. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? We haven't ha even had a phone call for Mo to even join the under-20s. Wow. We would, have, we would have loved that. Well, have the loved, thing is, I, I, the, I, question, I, 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 the question really goes back, um, Mr. Fall. The question is, are we going to Argentina just to make up the numbers, or are we actually going there to compete and win? Because if yeah. we're going to go there to compete and win, we need the best players in our squad. And you name me a better 20-year-old striker than Mo Fall right now playing football at this stage. That, that's one of my... If anybody who follows me knows that. I don't support players based on if I know you or no. For me, my, I always emphasize that. Let the, when it comes to the national team, pick the best players. Yes. If you have your club, do whatever you want. But if you have to defend the colors of our country, you have to, there should be criteria. You have to make certain criteria to wear yes. our national jerseys. So I hope our authorities are watching or they are following, because they always do. Uh, it's not too late. There's a player out there. You can go and check his stats, you can go and check his videos. There are a bunch of evidence to. To, 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 to see. And you mentioned something very important. We are, our target 
was to go to the AFCON and be in the World Cup. We achieved that. Now we are going to the World Cup. We don't want what happened in the AFCON happened to us. In the African Cup of Nations, we went there in Cameroon, mm -hmm. but because of the way we were playing, it really difficult to sell our players because we were so defensive as a team. So it's difficult to sell. Since after the AFCON, we don't have much movements coming from the national team. So our objective of going to this place, Argentina, is to be explosive. We want to sell the players. Not, not to win the cup, but to go as far as we can, quarterfinal, semifinal. And to, to do that, you have to play a certain way. And to play a certain way, you need certain players in your setup mm. to be able to do that. So meaning, every single Gambian out there who is good enough should be in the team, should be given a chance. But if we want to do like we always do, every club president wants your player to be in the team, you just gonna take the team there and sacrifice the team, and we will not, we won't, yeah. we won't do good. We have France in the group. We have South Korea, Honduras. Honduras. These teams have, these teams are strong. These teams from South America, even they are good. Even though we have very good players, we have very good players, but we need to adjust the team because we lose to Senegal twice in a year, both finalists. So, and we expect to play tougher opponents at the World Cup. Mm -hmm. To avoid such bad results, we know the formula. The formula is adjust the team by bringing top quality players to make our team unbeatable. Because really, we have talented players, but I think the team still needs to be adjusted. But yeah, uh, in, in, in our country, there is a system that which is not favorable. You know, they right. they are doing yeah. things. They are doing things which is not football related. You know, they pick players sometimes based on based on you don't even know and. They will, not, they will not let the coach have the autonomy of the team. No, they will not let him. They will not let him do that. If they allow the coach to do whatever he wants, he will pick the best players. Because if the coach uh, is with, with, with the right team, his CV will be better. He will go to the World Cup, beat some household names, and then you will always talk about the coach because he's the leader of the team. But in our country, it's it's yeah. it's 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 kind of different. I I know changes is the rule of life, and it might happen someday. Uh, but if I have, if I have to, if I have to advise you, any of you or more as a person, it's just to stay focused, make the numbers higher. You cannot. You will you will sign, you will sign. And for example, we have this Gambian boy playing in Turkey, Ali. So, who the fans we are trying to be to be to be to be called up. They ignore him, they ignore him, but it has to get to a level where he you can't ignore him. He was banging goals on a regular basis. The fans put pressure, pressure on the on the team and the coach. You don't have a choice. The boy has to come to the national team. So for more, his numbers are there. He's young, he's 20, he's scoring goals. He's in the championship. He is in right. the right frame. He is, he, he is in the right place to sign. I just hope that our authorities will do the needful. By 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 giving him a chance to go to to go to Argentina, you know, to to, to give our country the, 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 a chance to, to to sign in the World Cup. It's a World Cup, man. It's under twenty World Cup. It's a huge tournament. Uh, you know, can, Paul, just can to I touch just, up, uh, can I just, just to touch upon just a quick point, Van. You mm -hmm. know what you said about the the guy that's playing in Turkey, where people have to keep making noise for mm -hmm. the coach to actually go and bring him. I think that's a shame and that's a failure in our system because realistically the coach should have been the one that should have noticed this player or his staff should have noticed this player or one of his, mm -hmm. his scouts should have noticed this player brought him to the coach's attention and they should have been keeping an, an, an eye on him for a couple yep. of weeks or a couple of months and then brought mm -hmm. him in when he was ready but if we have yep. to wait or we have to we have to count on people on social media to be making mm -hmm. noises for these coaches to just do it just because they don't want to be criticized. That's a shame. And, and it's just unfortunate yeah. that that's just how our system is. It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. But that, that's the fact. For those of who, for, for those of us who are following Gambian football, we will always say it as it is. That's why people like yeah, myself, absolutely. people, people, people in people in authority, they don't they look at me as somebody different. But I don't sugarcoat my words when 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 when, when talking about Gambian football. I will say it as it is. To play for the national team, you have to earn it. You know, Van, come again. Yeah, Van. yeah I, was yes. just, I was just going to add on to um, what Osman was saying. In terms of bringing 
a player that plays for West Brom to the Gambian setup. That is, mm. if you're looking at the bigger picture, um, that is selling Gambian football. You understand? Um, if you look at the likes of Senegal, Nigeria, back in the day, Senegal never used to have that many professionals playing mm -hmm. outside. But yeah. they selected the right um, people. And then next minute, everybody in the world know that Senegal is a footballing nation. So yeah. for Gambia to reach that level and give opportunities to other talents, Gambian talents that are coming through, for other teams, especially the Premiership, you know, to, 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 to look into Gambian football, you're going to have to select the likes of people that are already established in these leagues, like Mo, to showcase their talent. And, you know, some something like the World Cup, you know, if they see Mo there, a player from West Brom, next minute they will be like, oh, he's Gambian. Oh, Gambian, Gambia has got talents like this then. That's going to open doors for other Gambian, you know, youths that are coming through. You understand yeah. what I mean? But yeah. if Gambia selects um, a squad that's not going, that's not capable of winning anything, do you reckon all these scouts or all these teams are going to come and look um, for, for Gambian players for football? No, they will go to Senegal or Nigeria where they see that, you know, they've, they've made it, they, they made their names already. You understand what I mean? So that's what I just wanted to add on. Um, guess what? Look at the bigger picture. And guess what? And guess what? There was a tournament. We went to one tournament. We went to one under 20 tournament. Matar Mbuch, the then, then under 20 coach. I remember he invited two Gambian players playing in England in the lower leagues. I forget the name of the, of the teams, but they were not at the level. Those players were not at the level that Mo is playing. Two Gambian players were with, with the under 20. One was a midfielder. And the other one was a goalkeeper, I think. I don't know, from West Ham? I forget the names, but they were was playing it, with... Was under, this under 20 or under 17? Or, or, under, under 20. Yeah, under I think 20, the, yeah. The, the midfielder probably is the, the guy that has the son named Jalo, that plays for MK Dons in their second team. Or under there were two of them. There were yeah, two yeah, of them. One, one is a midfielder. He's fair in complexion. The other yeah, one he's was... The Jalo. He's Jalo. He, he plays for MK Dons, the second team. I'm not sure... Matan, so, 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 so if, if Mata can invite those players who are left lower who are, who are playing lower levels than what where exactly Mo is playing i think um modes are as such because of his numbers i'm not saying we have to call more because he's more no yeah, yeah. we call him more because of what he what 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 he represents the numbers are there to back it up because i don't believe in i am playing in manchester i prefer a, a player playing in derby 90 minutes on a weekly basis than somebody who just play at a top top level without having minutes i'm not into that yeah. i'm saying he has been doing well with his club and we had a chance to 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 to, to go to the world cup and make our name and i think uh it's important for our authorities to 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 look into it so that's why we are all here but like i said uh, yeah. there is nothing like propaganda we are not people who will come here to prop to propagate for, for for a particular player we defend our colors, we love Gambia, and we always defend Gambia. So right. the reason why we are talking about Mo is because mm. he's been doing good and he said openly, I'm a Gambian and I want to play for Gambia. So if a Gambian is Absolutely. dying to come and represent his motherland or fatherland, people like myself will be jumping. Very happy and We'll be jumping. So we are happy to, to have him on our program. And you know we will we, we will like what more where where exactly where are you born in the Gambia? Uh, in Sarakunda. Like, the play is called no no this play is called Ethan Bojan Ethan uh -huh. Somebody yeah, I comment. Know, I, I know uh, Ethan Bojan and I also know the goalkeeper Sani. Thank, thank you. That thank I know you. very well. That thank I'm you. Like, thank yeah, you. So so so. Uh, Mister Fala. Mm -hmm. I think I think I think I think Mo is a little bit tight up right now. Uh, look okay. at his face. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but I was thinking that you know, um, Eliman, uh, sorry, uh, Van and uh, Usman will definitely mm -hmm. help us uh, quickly in a space of 15 minutes. You know, uh, so that we can also talk on local language. That's the wall of Basel, because we all know that um, uh, Usman also uh, was working with the BBC to scout uh, some oh. good talent uh, uh, in some part of Africa. And also, Van mm. also is at Gambi uh, in, in England. Um, also, have many, many, many Gambian players that he's helping, you know, uh, to exile to be good players. So I would love them also, you know, to talk about this in Wolof. Um, what will be their role? Wolof, Wolof if, or, Ma or Mandinga? Either way, you can speak. No, yeah, I, yeah. I, I, will, I, will, I will do Wolof, and Usman will do Mandinga. 
Okay, then, 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 then go ahead. But you talk about BBC, which is, which is, yeah. which is important to me. Yeah, I know the more mom, uh, all of them be settled. Why, you know, what I want to try, go 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 try, Wah, ini awak tarik mui mui agban bukan hanya kuingin quickly in the face of 15 minutes bukan hanya hanya move mereka sana na almost am dapat dengan one hour bukan hanya kuingin wah mui putih si kalau mui of tay supaya kau nanti Gambia fee orang yang kuingin mereka move in England dan you know mui am mui face kau di bayar ko Gambia dem scout halai yang tay so lenye konfuf nuni mui all lenye 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 na bukan kuingin am this responsible for scout lidi Gambia mui sungguh hamil mui judu anggal tier ni ni mui bayar ko kompu semi ni sistem anggal tier lan mui sanjang kat sini lan ganjil pun awas Wah, fana lo 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 am solo lah, because not just mandrek or nyun way am nanti gambian you baru jengah hamne nyung si sistem am nanti hamne nyung gay gay si clubs football clubs it's just a matter of gam GFFB just jumping that mandate for you just to gambian si mereka fini di play football because at the end of the day gambian nyun nyapa koboka to nyun nyapa lu buat gis mui gambia football and mudam kanam um so they can you know they can you know like i did work it then you know i'm saying if it but for it i mean you know you know you know how many you see the guy you know second and if it didn't they want to make every time trips he pulled them set any football uh you know you play well i guess scouts uh this play uh players you push out let you uh money and i'm you know you know you different they can you know you know how many you know see system b Guideline muna identify al, so you say any profile, any player binga hamne bah na pulmu nyo dimbale national team bi. Nyo 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 profile to 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 the to to Gambian FA bi pul pul nyo bole lensi system bi. Olu rek mo muna dem mo ilu muna yo bo Gambian football kanam. Thank you very much. Us Usman, na family mugi hawa mood kam my Gambi. I don't know si lumneka why is ngko America. Okay, dinay ko dugal. Uh, uh, Ilman, uh, uh, sorry, Van uh, Dogumala, we have um, uh, Idi Silla uh, in England nah. walking across the mouth. Um, uh, Ilman Jalo uh, of Pink Money, uh, who is working day in, day out uh, in football. I'm not the one who is in, in the academy. So I'm not the one who is in England. They can definitely do this job help the FA, you know, to identify this young pool of talented Gambian players who are in the football in England, come to the content of the game, who are in 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 the game, so for now, the content of the Gambian government, the FA, the FA, who are in the game, I think it's a minute, I don't know if I'm going to have a contact, 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 I'm going to have a contact with England, Mungkin guide ko, one ko, na wui nengam ni di fokus dia di England, di Rusia mana mu, apa yang di sini, bagaimana kamu? Aha, sorry deh, nama apa? Kualiti teknikal difficulty. Lu jangan warai mui, lu jangan warai mui, dan juga rek, because mu sana, na bukan yang kau bayar, orang musuh awak, dan juga nak bayar five minutes, fifteen minutes, yang rapo. Lu jangan warai mui, na gis na ini sendiri, mungkin ini sedikit sah sio, yang dulu lihat BBC. Di guest tu ai halat soal mula di football, youth football, si kategori bi di dalam scout di dalam Afrika di Liga. Tapi Liga ibu mengapa dah faham ayen Andrew di kau dah faham BBC. Tapi langgan yang mana jangkat sufek internet sufek authority orang la, nela ni bukan la, lunga hamil yang kau dah faham BBC di kau dah faham ayen Andrew di nadi kau dah faham Liga Gambi. Um, dega na one van lum lumwa, te lumwa moye. Ni yep the same goal dan juga ni yep dan juga gis football lagi ambil mudah mesti kanam. Te purlo lu muna am dan juga am come the right people ni nak si position ni am ni they making the right decisions purlo sih dekabe muna mudah mesti kanam. Football football ni bari from from so dem ya Gambia right now Gambia is crawling with with talented footballers. But purlo ni am opportunity become for some opportunity mau bum am purlo play bum nak ada play is very very slim ni yep am ni ne the probability is putting on a professional footballer is one out of ten. So you also get a hundred players or two hundred players in a play. Maybe you can wreck more. I'm half a chance for them to make it in a professional setting. Why you know what a deaf money can it? We need to then what are then what are all using Boca? It's not every single time you them you want them to be the good in your hand because then you feel like I'm to babbling. You're gonna come 
comme game bi dan ñun suñu on suñu on um suñu on nit ñi angol ma la wone man i've worked with the bbc man luma defaral bbc mo nekkon because man ma don play football myself i was at birmingham city um and then coming through the ranks and then unfortunately it didn't work out why I'm on that opportunity be, um, for def some coaching badges with Birmingham, definitely talent identification, which is scouting, um, and also definitely sports journalism. Man travel now to France, travel now to to Ghana. For him, spend now for one week at um, at football academy. See, you have the Africa. For him, teams like Manchester City, for them they know to send players. See, after you get in the maybe you have a stage. For him, they ready new wow. Italian fee. You do go learn to send teams. Train now a guy for over a week understand that time it come in the game of sports from how important i mean a realistic dream in terms of football come that whether or not you can habib what are the very important well yeah 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 but you know i think i think i think this program is i think i think that's the talents i think it's not uh this program is not enough that, that we need to have another one whereby we will go into we, we, we will we will go in details about them about scouting and all that because there are there, there are things like mean they have to understand that so yeah osmo osmo uh we we, we must have him on another another platform numuna 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 go in details about about football in in uk and scouting more than we, we we have to we have to we have to get them we have to give them more often because you do it yeah. Yes. We just need to trust our players. We need to trust our people a little bit more. Um, then you want to all guy. Network and be about. I think, um, um, uh, Mr. Falumba, um, by I think we can do that, um, some other yeah. time. Um, uh, just yeah. have a because yeah. thank you yeah. basically about more, so yeah. we can have another yeah. conversation. Yeah. We just dive into um, talent, talent, um, um, here and stuff, and scouting yeah. and everything, and then we, we yeah. talk about that in general. Good, concord, oh, by the new new rap up, then you find a good. A good, a good, a good. Yeah. Because you know, you know, you know, you know what we're gonna do. Your details in our learning that's important, that's like an in-depth. We want to have both of you on a special program. Yeah. But then we go in details. You explain us details because people have to learn from Ninga Hamne Hamne. You've been there. I'm gonna play a football at certain level. There must some courses. So Lolo Lemboy Nasiako with the Gambian people, and we need a whole program for that. Both of you will come again, but you have to tell us just when it's more convenient, and then we yes. fix it. We come, and then th th that day you have to make sure you be in a place with a good internet also. <laughs> yange, I, yange, agree. Yange, I agree. I you agree. Are, you are, <laughs> some guys are saying, "Oh, Angel has a bad internet because of you." They are. They no, are, no, they no, are no, 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 no. Osman, Osman, never put Angel there. Right now, Mungi fell in there. Badibu, badibu. Mulango fale, mulango fale. Wah, yo, 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 yo. Manda, manda, manda for us, Mungi, Mungi, Mungi. <laughs> yeah, both of you have to come. You have to come, definitely. We need more. No, we need no more problem. of this. No problem. No problem. You know, and, 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 this, and, and, this and before you go, be, before you go, yeah, before you go, are you guys working apart from more? Are you working with with other Gambians? Just a short one. At the minute, yeah, we're working with a um, couple of Gambians um, offline. Okay, they, haven't, okay. they haven't officially signed on to us yet, but we offer advices and stuff. Okay, and let's, 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 let's hold it there. I just want to know. Yeah. Next, next, next program, <laughs> we'll we, we, we go more on that. we go right. on that. Us, 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 us. You guys are going to sign up. Wow, wow. Get again, Jeff. Thank you all. Thank you for having us. Yeah. It's a uh, pleasure. Bye. Yeah, thank you very much for having us. Um, it's been a pleasure. Um, you know, being in the same platform with with both of you, and 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 yeah, thank you. And one thing, I, one thing, I, one thing I want to say that all our followers are really happy, and they're enjoying this show. They really appreciate both of you coming to this platform and sharing your your experience and stuff. And then seeing Mo in person, sitting down comfortably and showing his love to his country, is the icing on the cake. So Mo. What do you have to say on a on a on a final yeah, note? I know, I know. Before you come, please. Uh, there is a question here for Van and Usman. 
I do want to say hi. Yes. Please ask, ask both Van and Usman how can they give a hand uh, to kids living in, in London? If yes, how can we contact them? It seems like this is Okay. They, this are Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we'll, we'll send, we'll send, um, we, we just started um, uh, an Instagram page um, for, for um, VNP Sporting um, Agency. So we'll send the, the, the Instagram um, name and the link to, to, to yeah. buy and then you can share it on the, on the, on the, on the this page and then whoever yes. wants to contact us can contact us directly from there and then we can exactly. speak to them give them our numbers. Exactly. Exactly. More finally, exactly. That's, that, that's new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for having me on the show. You, you, know, you, could, like see, you, could, you, you, you could see the fans are saying definitely we need to have these garments again. You see? Popular demand. It's not, it's not from me. <laughs> the followers are saying that we need to have you guys again. So, so Mo, yeah, you had you had what your what your brothers have said. You know, we talk about we want to see you in a national team, but it's not within within our powers. You know, the, you know, it's our wish. So, I, I, so what do you have to say? Because there are a lot of people watching you and so in love, and you know, they appreciate your level of playing and your commitment towards your country. So. What do you have to say to 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 the to the to the to the to the to the, to the government people, both home and abroad, especially your family in 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 Serekunda, the Gambia? Yeah, yeah, everyone's super proud, and you know I'm very happy and I'm very. I just want to say thank you to everyone for the support, you know. But obviously, soon it's gonna happen. It's just a matter of time, but it's gonna happen. You know yep. what I mean? So if if you're if you're applying pressure for that long, it's impossible for them to to to, to say no forever. You know, just a matter of time, and uh, if I keep keep playing the way I'm playing, keep scoring goals, inshallah, maybe one day, very soon, it's gonna happen. So thank you for everyone for the support. Yeah, it's a pleasure. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you, guys. It's a pleasure. We meet again. Yeah. Yes. Thank, thank you all. Thank you, thank you very much. See you soon. You. All together. Inshallah. Inshallah. Yeah.